Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oblong Polka Dots and my name is Kerr and on this channel we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. Today we are going to be using a palette from Joa, which I've never used this brand before but I did see it kind of going around online. So this is called Simplified and the name of the quad is Your Mauve. So yeah. I saw a few different content creators using this brand, so I did purchase three different palettes from them, so you'll see those videos. This is the first of them. It comes in a Lucite packaging similar to that of ColourPop, but these pans are definitely bigger. I would say this overall size is probably one-fourth larger than the uh, ColourPop. This is what the shades look like. Looks like we're working with two mattes, two shimmers, which is very similar to ColourPop. I don't know anything about the formula or anything like that, so we're going to learn about this together. Um, normally when I do my makeup, I do it in a gradient, so we'll go from lightest to darkest. Let's go ahead and prep the eye. We're going to use the Essence Prime Like a Boss Eyeshadow Primer. I use this base probably every day. And by probably, I mean I think I've used it every day since I first learned about this product. It's fantastic. It really punches above its weight. It's high quality, long lasting. Keeps your shadow in place and from creasing. When you first put it on, it is a little bit oily, but don't let that deter you because it does dry down quickly to a nice tacky finish. And then also we are going to be using a color corrector today. This one's from Milani. It's the Conceal Perfect Number no. 4 in Nectar. I really like this product as well. My only complaint about it is the packaging. It is messy. But I have noticed that if I use a color corrector, which I used to do years ago, I don't know why I stopped, but when I use the color corrector underneath my eyes, it really does help to cancel out some of the gray that shows up underneath my concealer. So I do like to do that. I put it on first so it can dry down a little bit. And what else? We are also going to be using a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. This one is an Intense Amethyst. And we're gonna use that as a base for our eyeshadow because I've never used this product before and I want to make sure that whatever is happening with my shadows, it turns out nicely on my lid. I don't know anything about the pigmentation, nothing. So we're just going to cancel out some of the brown of my lid with this nice sparkly amethyst color to really help those shadows to pop. All right, and then we are going to go with a flat brush, this one right here. And we're going to start off with this color right here. And they're all named. So this one is called Royalty. This is called Oh Wow. This is Power Mauve. And then uh, Bow Down. So we're just going in quarter, uh, in quarter, in order of lightest to darkest. I don't see a lot of kick up in the pan. So we're just going to start right here. All we're going to do is pack on the color. Again, I really don't know much about this brand. I don't know about the formula. We're just trying it out. And I'm gonna pack this all over my lid. So far, the formula is quite dry. And I don't think I see any patchiness, but it's not as uh, pigmented as, say, uh, ColourPop but it does give a really nice color. I do like this shade. Sometimes purples, when they're formulated, they can come out a little bit muddied, but this is a nice, clear shadow. In other words, what you're seeing in the pan is what I'm seeing on the lid. Okay. Here's a little bit more. Okay, so what do you think so far? I think we're doing okay. All right, so now I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm going to go in with this other matte on the outer corner. Same brush, same side, and I'm not seeing much kick up in the pan at all. So these are um, packed really well. We're gonna use that for the outer corner. Nice pigmentation, nice deep purple like an aubergine. A little bit more, not a lot. 
I was not anticipating doing a smoky eye, but when I grabbed this palette this morning, I realized that's what we're going to have to go for. It's very pretty. All right, so that really deepens up the outer corner nicely. Beautiful. Okay, so let's take a quick pause. We are going to go in with this glitter primer from NYX, <clears throat> excuse me, which I absolutely love. I talk about this on my channel all the time. It's probably the best glitter primer I've ever used. Whatever shadow, whatever glitter you're going to put on top of it, it's going nowhere. It is just, it's going to stay and that's it. It's a really good product. The way I like to use it is I just grab a flat brush and you don't need a lot. I can't stress this enough, you guys, a little tiny bit, very, very little. You're good to go. And you're just going to pat that down wherever you want that shadow or that glitter to really, really stick. And I know you can't see it on camera, but it's already tacky. Like it's already completely tacky. So if you could see, you would be able to see that it's already picking up with the brush. Like it's already stuck to my, <laughs> to my lid. So yeah, fantastic product. Love it. I definitely recommend it. NYX glitter primer. Okay. Let's go back in with the shadow. Again, I don't know anything about fallout or anything. So we're going to find out here together. We're going to go in with this color right here. Same brush. But we're going to take that brush and we're just going to flip it over to the side that we haven't used yet. I'm not seeing a lot of kickback or fallout. I'm going to place that on top of that primer that we just laid down. Yeah, I'm looking you guys and I'm not seeing any fallout. And I don't know if it's because we're packing it on top of the primer or if it's because of the formula, but I can tell you, I'm really glad that I bought this palette. It's beautiful. These shades are gorgeous. Look at that. I know that it's a mauve palette, but on me, it truly looks amethyst and I'm here for it. I'm not mad. I'm going to take the last shadow here, this one right here, and we're going to take that and just blend in this line right here between that deeper shade and that lighter shade. So we're just going with the center of the lid for this one. Again, I'm not seeing any fallout or kickback in the pan. And we're just taking that and we're just putting that on the center of the lid. So we have a nice transition color between that deeper and that lighter color. There we go. Wow. What a deal. Oh my gosh, you guys. This palette is spectacular. It's really, really beautiful. Wow. I am not mad at it. You see in this? Goodness. Okay. All right. All right, Joa. Go ahead. About it. Right there in the center. Between those two. Ta da. What do you think? I have no idea how well this is picking up on camera, but I can tell you for a fact in person this is what's up. Yeah. It's pretty. Ta-da! Love it. Recommend it. Glad I bought it. It's a, it's a yes for me. Okay, so I have to go to work, so let's quit fooling around. Let's finish up this face. <laughs> we have our Lancome Tainted Doll all over concealer, and this is in the shade 470. We're going to lay that right on top of that color corrector. Just like that. And then also, 
gonna let this dry a little bit. Just a scotch. I was gonna do a foundation today, but I really don't feel like it, so we're gonna put all that stuff back that normally goes with the foundation. Just gonna let this dry a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna grab our little sponge. I normally use my sponge dry, so lately in the last couple of videos, I was making it wet, but I think I'm just gonna keep it dry for today. Something in my eye. All right, let's blend this in. I love this concealer so much because it can be used as a foundation or just as a concealer, and it's incredibly skin-like. It's beautiful. And if you have really dry skin, you probably don't even need to set this. Um, I have combination skin, so I always set it, but it's really just a beautiful concealer. The coverage, the formula plays well with lots of other products. The shade range is extraordinary and has been. So lots of shades and lots of tones to choose from. If you are looking for a solid concealer, that performs every time, works well with other products, and has a really good range to choose from, this is the one I recommend. There we go. See how it's really skin-like? Love the finish. Just love it. So pretty. Okay, let's set that. I have a soft focus setting powder here from, or finishing powder from Black Radiance. This is in the shade Almond golden almond and I have one of those little sponges that I got from Amazon oh don't drop the mirror seven years bad luck okay back in action okay so for this one I just take the sponge and I just press it you don't have to really do a lot and then I'm just lightly going over where I laid down that concealer I don't want it to be cakey so just a tiny little bit. Don't need a lot. Do the rest of the face. Just to have some. Not coverage per se, but just to make it match. <laughs> ah, okay, let's put the rest of the stuff away. And let's set our face. Actually, let's go in with some blush real quick. I have this one from Ulta Beauty. It's called Flush Blush and Natural Finish. This one is Retro Rose. And I just thought this would be good to go with the shadow. That's what it looks like. I've used this blush before. I probably put way too much in my pan just now. Let's see. Or on my brush. It does give a natural finish. It's buildable, but... You know, not trying to go overboard either. That's about good. That's what I just put down on the other side. If you just tap it in the pan, it like picks up right away. But as you can see, it really is just like a more natural flushed finish. It's not going to be too hard to work with. It's not like one of the Juvia's Place blushes where... If you put on too much, you're going to be trying to work that out for like the rest of your life. <laughs> and I like Juvia's Place, don't get me wrong, but the stuff is so pigmented. It's definitely not like beginner friendly. I'll put it to you like that. One more dip because why not? I like that kind of ethereal look. Um, Now let's use a setting spray. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray right here. We'll pop that on. Let this dry down a little bit. And then I have one of the Avon pencils here. I was digging through my collection recently because I'm like, I need to kind of sort it out and just start turning things over. This one is the Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks Diamond Eyeliner in the shade Sugar Plum, and it has a nice sparkly finish. It's one of those liners where it's like retractable. 
Not my favorite style of liner, but that's okay. I'm actually going to line my lower lash line, you guys. I know. I've been doing it for the past couple videos. After talking all that trash, right? It's okay. There we go. I do like the brighter liners on my lower line. I just don't do it often because I always feel like it does age me, like closes my eyes off. But every once in a while, if you have like a jewel tone or something super duper bright, it does look nice. So I'm trying to be open minded here. Trying. Plus, I just like this liner. I like this uh, brand. Avon's been around for a long time for a reason. We need a mascara. I just threw out my other one. So let's see what we have in here. We have a lot of options. <laughs> what new mascara shall we open today? How about this one? What's this? Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I don't know anything about this, so we're going to learn about it together, you guys. Ooh, it's thick. It does not look wet, and it's got one of those pokey kind of applicators. Let's see. Well, it's a drier formula for sure. And it's quite thick. But it is lengthening my lashes. Can you see that? Okay. Do this side. What do you think? It's pretty lengthening. I can't tell if it's like, I don't know. Is it dried out? Is that why it's so thick? I haven't used it before. a little bit sticky that would be a good way to describe it it feels a little sticky um i don't know it does dry quickly though it's just kind of a i don't know thick formula i know i'm trying to describe it it's very crispy when it dries so it's not like soft it's crispy. <laughs> okay, well, that's that. We'll use this for a couple times. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think that's it. Oh, I need a lip, don't I? I always do that to you guys. Let's pop on a lip really quick and then we'll be done. Put this away. It's the old compass case, you guys. All the products that I'm using. How about we grab a liner? Something... Kind of, what was this one? No, this is not opened. Uh, maybe this one? Is this too red? This is from NYX. It's plum. Let's try it. Might be too red. Maybe not. Is it showing up on camera? rather subtle. Actually, I like that it's subtle. This is pretty. I've used this a million times and I forgot about it. There we go. 
What do you think? All over the lip? Should we do it? Let's just do it. Because it's nice and subtle. Let's fill it in. Very pretty. What do you think, you guys? Do you like it? <laughs> I like it. I'm happy with it. I think that this little palette is awesome. I think it's worth the price. I don't even think I paid more than like $10 for it. So I say go for it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.